Hey everyone, I wanted to do a video about reinstalling your Koya training software in case it's giving you some trouble. I uh, had set up my batch file here so that it, that it would call this and run through the upgrade every time I started Koya. At some point, with subsequent upgrades from the version that I have, it actually stopped working. And then uh, at some point when I tried to fix it, it also wasn't working. The installer itself was giving some problems. So uh, the developers have definitely been making some changes there. And the recommendation, and if you look on their GitHub, you can see this. There's some issues. Some of them are related to um, you know product functionality that aren't necessarily needing an install. But some of them, like this one, uh, the CUDA neural network isn't quite working in the installation pr process. Mine was getting a uh, V environment in Python uh, that was uh, error that was happening, and I tried fixing it. I tried doing a few things. It wasn't working, and so eventually I just said, you know what? It's just software. Just rip it out, put it back on. And so I wanted to walk you through what I did, but even <laughs> but even when I did that, it didn't work. So uh, I did want to take you through the steps that I did do to get uh, Koya working again so that you can get back to training your LoRa's. So I just wanted to show you that it was working okay uh, before I actually took it apart and put it back together again. So I'm going to get rid of this. We have these issues here and, and some of these uh, talk about either running the update and um, some other fixes to potentially cleaning out, for example, your environment folder. If you have your Koya SS, you can look in this VENV folder if you just get rid of this and then rerun the setup. It should rebuild this. I tried that first. It didn't work for me. Uh, what I did next was delete everything in this uh, folder. Actually, you can just delete the whole this whole Koya folder completely. Get rid of that completely. Reinstall from scratch. That almost worked. Uh, and then I had some uh, CUDA uh, NN issues. So I want to show you a few things. And hopefully between all of this, it'll get you working pretty quickly. Now, I would advocate if there's something important in here that you think you need, back it up. There shouldn't be, I don't think, unless you've done... Um, sort of extensive customizations or anything in here. But if you've just been using this to train a model and uh, create your LoRa, you probably won't have a too many things in here. For example, you might have the you know models that you've made. You want, might want to get them out of here. If you have any other folders that you've created in here, you want to back those up. Training images other things, you know, the usual precautions. Just make sure you have everything backed up. Or heck, if you want, just rename this and or take a copy or compress it or something. It's 8 gig. Wow. Okie dokie. Uh, so, I'm going to take what was my working Koya SS and I'm going to shift delete. Goodbye. And when that's gone, um, I guess I might as well close this because it's not going to delete when it's running. That's how software works. So once this is gone, we're going to do a rebuild from scratch. And I'll show you one other thing because this, um, the, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, the CUDA neural network here uh, was giving some people some trouble. It gave me some trouble, and I had the ones that came with my original Koya install way back when I did this a while ago. I had still had a copy of those downloaded. I used those, and those still didn't work with the new installation of Koya. So when we get to this piece, I'll run back through this. But let's, first things first, let this delete and then we'll start from scratch. Okay, that folder is gone and we'll now redo this. And so if 
the other prerequisites should still be in place, right? You still need Python uh, 3.10 uh, or Anaconda, Miniconda, some other Python environment of your choice. Uh, some of the other installation steps still apply, but now we can kind of skip straight to the Git clone, which I'm going to do here. Copy this right here. I'm going to... Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go here. I'm going to scroll down until I find the command prompt, right click, more, run as administrator, just in case, because I like to do that. Stable diffusion. We don't have anything here except for automatic 11.11. So we're just going to say git clone. And then if you just right click your cursor here, it'll paste that. OK, what we're going to do by saying, actually, can I make this any larger for you? I hope you can read that OK. What this says, if you can't read it, is git space clone space and the URL that I copied from here. Uh, the resolution on this uh, virtual machine is a little low, and so I tried to make this legible for everyone. Okay. So we're just going to do this, let it run through its thing. Now, this is what we did the last time when we installed this from scratch. After we had Python and Git installed, we did this step, and we're going to do it again. But now it's going to pull from scratch the latest Koya from GitHub. It claims to be done. Now that it's done, we can change directory into Koya. There's our Koya folder. It's all here. And first things first, we're going to run setup.bat. You could just type setup2. It would know what to do. It's going to go through and do its normal from scratch setup steps. What involves, it's going to actually reach out, pull down whatever supporting uh, information it needs. And so it could take a little bit of time at this stage. And here we go. Okay. So what do we want to do? We want to install Koya. So we'll press number one. Now, I'm using Torch 2 in my automatic 11.11 stable diffusion setup, so I'm just going to press Torch 2. It's the newer one. I think that'll be all right. Now this will go through and grab all of its uh, information. We'll come back and see how it's looking at this stage and what we should do next. Okay, that has completed and it has downloaded all the files that we need. You'll see now that your Koya SS directory is much larger. Now it's going to be in the several gigabytes. So it's downloaded all of that. Okay. Next, in our menu item here, we can install these CUDA files, which is two. This has been plaguing some folks, uh, and it's confusing, right? You don't just hit two because the files aren't here. It wants you to place the file. What it's saying is, I can't find files in this location. All right? OK. So what this is really doing is invoking the script that you would run after you copy the files. Unlike this first selection, number one, which goes out to the internet, pulls down what it needs, and um, manages and installs everything, this is just the script. OK, so now we have a problem, because these are hosted in a few different places. So I did a little research. The most reliable place would be to get them is from NVIDIA themselves, from the NVIDIA developer archive. Uh, and these are the, you can download the latest, which is this one. Uh, but Torch 2 is built, I believe, on 11 version 11 of CUDA, not version 12. And so 
unless that just happens to be the version I have on my machine. I could be mistaken about that, um, but I think that Co that uh, Torch 2 is, is using 11X, not 12X. That might just be me. I don't know. In any event, you'll want to download these from the Kudin archive or right from NVIDIA's developer site. Now this does, to download the files, require a free sign up. Just takes a minute and use your email, pick a password, no obligation, no funny business, um, and then you can actually log in here and get access to these and a lot of other uh, NVIDIA developer resources. I grabbed the latest, which is 8.9.1, and I'll show you. Once you get in there, I grabbed the Windows zip. You can see the, uh, the path down there at the bottom. It's just a zip file. Downloaded it here to my downloads directory, and I want to show you something. So I'm just going to extract them right here. Okay. Let's extract these. Now, this also is causing people some trouble, so let's walk through this together so that you um, can see the steps. Because it, it's not straightforward, uh, and I kind of um, just figured it out with a little bit of trial and error, so maybe I can save you a bit of time. Okay, once you extract that, if you open it up, now you've got this. Now, what some people have done is dragged all of this over to their Koya folder, and that is unnecessary. What you'd want to do, you have your Koya folder here, and what you need is what this is looking for, as C-U-D-N-N -N underscore Windows. So let's just go ahead and create that. There we have our C-U-D N. It's not CUDA. It's C-U-D-N-N -N underscore Windows, right? Because that's what it's looking for. Okay. Now, open that up, and you have your extracted files here. This is the zip file we pulled down. We extracted the files. All you need to copy are these from the bin folder. You can even move them if you want to. I'm just going to move them to save some space. Boom. Okay. Because you already have the zip file anyway. And the rest of these you can chuck. So, to be neat, shift delete, goodbye. Okay. And I still have the zip file here if I need it. And you can always get them uh, and others from the archive here. They go quite a ways back. Uh, I'm not sure how far back it goes. Uh, version 1. Big surprise. Okay. So, uh, NVIDIA is very good about kind of maintaining this archive for you for some granularity. Okay, so what have we accomplished? We installed Koya from scratch from the GitHub repo, brand new without any of our old stuff in the folder. We got these from the legitimate source, which is NVIDIA, copied the latest files. And like I was saying, we didn't have to copy all of them. We copied just these. DLL files into the Koya SS C U D N N underscore Windows folder. Now that that is done, you can come back here. You notice I didn't close this because this isn't. You can. It's not the end of the world, but you just have to start the uh, startup uh, script again. But uh, now I can come back here, press two. Lo and behold, it will find the files. And everything's happy. Now it's saying it copied the 8.6. That's just a label error uh, because these are the 8.9.1.23 files. Okay, now what? You might be saying, are we done? Almost. At this point, I'm going to quit. Boop, boop. Okay, out. There's one more batch file that I would like to start, which is the upgrade. That is the upgrade.bat file. Just in case, I mean, I just grabbed this from Git, so there shouldn't be any commits between the time that I started this and the time that I uh, I finished it. But hey, what the heck? Let's just upgrade for kicks to make sure everything is as it should be. It should really tell me I'm up to date. Everything's fine. This is saying CPU-only torch because I don't have a graphics card in my virtual machine. 
but you will see a different error message here. Uh, CUDA is not available on your system. This all should look uh, okay. Last, but certainly not least, I'm going to close this out. You don't have to. If you don't have a handy batch file on your desktop, that's clear startup.bat that looks like this. Uh, I made this myself, but uh, that's just to save myself some time. All it, all this says, so you can read that, my batch file says, echo off, that's so that it doesn't repeat all of the commands in your face, change directory to stable diffusion koya underscore ss, which is where our koya install is uh, residing. Uh, this is just a remark that says, edit this line if you want to update. This will call the upgrade batch file that I just ran, which will check GitHub for the latest uh, commits and re-synchronize those down. So you can take that out if you want to run it every time. And then it also calls the GUI.bat. This says run on our local port for our local web server, 127.0.0.1. I just set the port to not conflict with automatic 11.11, which runs on 78.60. This defaults to 78.60 as well. Uh, so I just picked my own port. I picked 79.60 arbitrarily. And then the in-browser switch will just make this open in your default browser. Okay, so that's all. That, there's not a lot of magic here. Uh, and for kicks, I'm just going to save that. I might as well run this upgrade every time because if it blows up, we now know how to reinstall it from scratch. That just saves me from having to come into the command line and do anything else so that I can just come over here. I always choose to run this as administrator. It's going to go through. It's going to check for updates. It's going to do its thing. And then it'll start up for us and we'll be all set. You'll have to give this machine a little patience because the system is a bit slow. And there it is. And so now it will kick off the browser, open up in 7960 for us. And here is our working Koya installation again. Okay. I hope this helps someone get back to working. Now you can go through, pick your models, set your folders in the stream booth LoRa tab, and then start your training. I do have a separate video on uh, installing this originally when I installed it the first time, and I also have a video on walking through the training steps to create your own model. Uh, so you might, you can check my channel out for those, but I hope this helps someone if your Koya install is giving you all kinds of trouble, error messages, other strange things. That is everything you need to just put the whole thing in the trash, start from scratch, grab all the latest um, information you need, get your hands on these CUDA neural network files if you need to, and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching.